Hello students, today we are discussing the topic types of replication models. Already we discussed what is about what is replication. It is self duplication or formation of daughter DNAs from parent DNA is called replication. So in the prokaryotes, this replication occurs at the time of binary fission, whereas in eukaryotes, replication occurs at the time of cell division, both during mitosis as well as during meiosis. That is specifically during interphase and more specifically during S phase, which is called synthetic play phase. Okay, but uh, as soon as Watson and Crick have proposed that uh, double helical model for a DNA and uh, the entire scientific community has started thinking about this uh, replication or how DNA will multiply in generations after generations. And uh, they thought of uh, different uh, views or we can say that there are three schools of thought regarding uh, the replication. And uh, they have proposed three models, three different models. That is what uh, here we will, we will see. Types of replication models, not types of replication. Types of replication models. And some believe that it is a conservative type. And uh, Watson and Crick, they proposed immediately semi-conservative type. And some people believe that it is a dispersive type of replication. Let us see what is this conservative model says. This is the parent DNA and I have used black color for this, the two strands. And now during replication, two daughter DNAs are formed. And you can see that uh, I have used two different colors. And this is black and this is red and this black uh, is just like the parent DNA and the red is the daughter DNA. Uh, of course, both of them are daughter DNAs, but uh, uh, the parental DNA remained as it is. And the both strands of uh, this DNA, this daughter is having uh, parental strands and this daughter is having new strands. So, here this model says that uh, the parental DNA is not at all utilized or it remained as it is. That is why it is called conservative model. And now uh, let us see semi-conservative model. And here you can see that uh, this is parent DNA and I have used black color. And now these two are daughter DNAs. And these daughter DNAs are composed of one parental strand okay, and one new strand, parental strand and new strand. So that is why this is called semi-conservative type of replication. And now when we come to dispersive model, here you see this is uh, the parent DNA. And the both strands of this parent DNA during uh, uh, this replication have exchanged uh, the materials. So you will find what uh, these are two daughter DNAs with uh, black. Black represents old uh, okay, nucleotides and the red color represents what new nucleotides. 
so hybrids we can say hybrid strands are formed here so this is called dispersive model now uh, uh, the okay the task is among these three models which one is the correct model and to prove this two scientists matthew messelson and franklin stall have performed uh, an experiment and this is uh, uh, popularly known as the most beautiful experiment in biology so this experiment is called what the most beautiful experiment in biology is this messelson and stall's experiment that has provided uh, an proof and they have proved that uh, it is not uh, conservative and it is not dispersive it is uh, semi conservative let us see how they have proved and uh, to prove this they have used uh, isotopic nitrogen that is n15 isotopic nitrogen they have used and as an experimental tool they have used uh, a bacterium that is e coli bacterium e coli and first what they did they, they grew this e coli bacterium in the medium containing ammonium chloride with uh, n15 i hope you are understanding they grew e coli in uh, the nutrient medium containing ammonium chloride with nitrogen 15 isotopic nitrogen not for one generation for many generations so in the medium uh, uh, the nitrogen is available only in the form of n15 so the dna as well as uh, all other uh, nitrogenous compounds are labeled with uh, n15 but of course uh, uh, what they did they have purified the dna and they found that in that bacterium the dna is composed of n15 and to find out whether it is n15 or n14 they have used uh, one method that is uh, cesium chloride density gradient centrifugation and in this cesium chloride density gradient whenever we add uh, uh, some other chemical that chemical will form uh, during centrifugation that chemical will form uh, orange colored bands and these bands uh, will depend on uh, the weight of uh, that uh, uh, chemical you see here if it is heavy nitrogen the bands are formed at the bottom and if it is a hybrid one so the bands are uh, formed in the middle and if it is a light dna n14 the band is formed at the top so when they grew this e coli so they found that uh, all uh, the dna present in that e coli is with n15 so heavy dna and now uh, they have uh, uh, taken these e coli with n15 i hope you are understanding now uh, they have taken this e coli with uh, n15 and transferred them into a medium containing ammonium chloride n14 okay a light dna uh, sorry normal nitrogen n14 and now well, let us see what has happened this is the diagrammatic representation and uh, i hope you will understand this so this e coli is with n15 n15 dna and you know that uh, this e coli bacterium or any bacteria will divide uh, for every 20 minutes through binary fission 
and before binary fission there will be replication of the NA. So, N15 and after 20 minutes, okay, to okay, the bacteria contain what uh, hybrid DNA. So, this is hybrid DNA. So, they found that uh, how they have confirmed this one. Uh, you see, in this generation, this is uh, the first generation or F1. Filial generation 1 and they have isolated the DNA and they have used that uh, CCM chloride uh, gradient centrifugation method and they found that uh, it is hybrid DNA. Now, with this uh, uh, result, they have ruled out this conservative model. If it is conservative model, then uh, not hybrid DNA should not be formed and there should be light DNA as well as heavy DNA. Both should be there. So, that is why they have uh, ruled out the conservative model. And now, uh, the thing is that uh, it can be semi-conservative or it can be dispersive. Now, uh, they went for uh, one more uh, uh, generation. And in the next generation, that is after 40 minutes, they found that uh, hybrid DNA, these two are hybrid and these two are what? Light DNA. Both are formed in equal proportion. Both are formed in equal proportion. And when they went for another 20 minutes, okay, so 4 will become 8 and uh, in the 8, out of 8 uh, uh, DNAs, so 2 of them are hybrid DNA and 6 are uh, okay, light DNA. So, the number of hybrid DNA is decreasing while light DNA is increasing. This indicates that the DNA is replicating in what method? Semi conservative method. That is why this experiment is uh, uh, has proved that uh, DNA replication is always in what ma manner? Semi conservative manner. So, not uh, dispersive or not uh, conservative. So, it is semi-conservative method of uh, replication. And in the next video, we will discuss about uh, uh, the enzymes and mechanism of uh, DNA replication. And before that, we will do some uh, problems based on this uh, uh, topic.